And we're ready to image our sample. We have the power switch of the microscope here. We have a light adjustment here, a coarse and fine focus stage movement left and right and up and down. We have a turret underneath, which is all our objective lenses. On this one, we have 50x, 100x, 200x, and 400x. So um, we want to make sure that the light is coming through and hitting our sample. Put it face down and check that on the screen we have something that looks like this. If we had just a polished sample, this would be mostly uh, like a light yellow, but it would be uh, very bright all the way across. We have this peg on the side, which transfers it from a camera image to a binocular image. So it basically uh, turns the light one way or the other here. So we'll make sure it's going to the computer. We're going to start on the lowest magnification, or 50x, just to find our sample. This is a, a good thing if we want to find like an edge, a specific feature, and to make sure that what we're looking at is represented across the entire sample. Um, so we have 50x here. At, we're going to take microstructure images probably around 200 to 400 X so that we can actually see grains and grains appear around that size. So we're going to rotate this clockwise and scroll our fine focus forward until we can see the structure again. We're going to go up another magnification, do it again. And I think there's one more. All right. You'll notice as you get to higher and higher magnifications, your depth of field decreases, so you have a very uh, slim range of focus. If your sample is tilted at this point, um, you'll notice the focus going from one side of the image to the other, and maybe your sample is not perfectly flat. Um, and then, so this is the structure of some low-carbon steel. You can look it up in a book if you want.